visitors from millions of tourists. Its breathtaking landscapes seem to always welcome people with different places. Let us be mindful of our actions and make sure that we always follow the rules and regulations that govern the city. Baguio is our home. Equality. This is my advocacy because when I was young, I have experienced not being portrayed just because I was not the standard of the Bagger is my home, equality is my advocacy, and adventure, that's me. I am Bail, your Miss Universe Philippines Bagger City. The booming city of the South. Welcome to the Tuna capital of the Philippines. The home for more than 500,000 champions. General Santra City, from a vast barren land filled with raw agricultural materials to a thriving economic hub in Southeast Asia. City of General Santra has shown countries how leadership, collaboration, and vision could transform a city to a paradise embraced by innovation and sustainability. In every time you'll hear General Santos, people would always ask for tuna. More than 85% of total fish landings at General Santa City, fish port complex, are yellow fin and tuna like species, earning the city's moniker as the tuna capital of the Philippines, where its yearly tuna festival is being celebrated by the general. Amid continuous progress, the city never failed to carry the richness of its culture and tradition as a home to beautifully diverse people. General Santos has magnificently preserved their practices and identity, maximizing inclusion and respect. We are also known as the home of the champions. Jensen has produced a number of brilliant and multi-talented individuals to various fields. We have pound for pound king and politician Senator Manny Pacquiao, Miss Universe Philippines, Shamsi Suksukli. Magandang Jensen! Wow! All of the champions! Daughter of a medical doctor and living in one of the poorest parangas.
that I call home. Welcome to Tagig City. Like a halo halo, the city and I are a mix of many different layers that when put all together, creates an explosion of flavor. We are known for being a Peruvian ciudad. The balance between modern and traditional. A rural living in an urban setting. While being one of the lead financial and lifestyle districts of the country. The city government has already planted seeds of change in turning what used to be a dump site into what's known as the Tagig Integrated Urban Farm in hopes to promote sustainability, wise land use, and food security while spreading the message of turning something neglected into a flourishing landmark. As for me, my seed of change is to be my most authentic self in hopes to inspire people to unleash the power that lies within them. By being true to who I am and not what the world expects of me, I can lead with my heart and walk a life full of purpose and gratitude. I am ready to show the universe that whatever hurdles life throws at me, I will use that as a lesson and turn that into my superpower. I am Sandra Raimundo Lemonon and I advocate to open the conversation about mental health. I'm Michelle Teresa Imperial Gumabao. Join me as we experience the beauty of Quezon City. I've lived here for 27 years and I just can't help but be proud of how much the city has progressed. I'm so happy to be able to share this experience with you. Analyst for ABS CBN sharing the joy and passion of sports to all of our Capamilias nationwide. and I am representing Quezon City. My purpose in joining Miss Universe Philippines as a dentist and advocate of oral health awareness, it is my mission to educate people about the importance of optimal oral health and help the less fortunate.
Isabelanya, and this is Isabel. A peaceful haven encapsulated by the morning mountains, its forests a deep verdant green, the rice fields covering ample grounds far beyond the existential horizon, the gentle night breeze which kisses your face as it gently reminds you how precious life is. You can breathe the fresh air with comfort and assurance that the future generations have hope of witnessing the prestige of Mother Earth. Romblon is popularly known for its marble deposits and products, a world-class quality. The province's very location. Marble signifies the strength of my people, the ability to stand still amidst any unfortunate and unexpected events. Romblon is much more than its physical marvels. Paramount to its beauty is its people. We Romblomanians are like our waters calm and serene. Our crystal clear beaches, apart from our world-renowned marble, are what we could offer to the universe. Bonbon, Aglikai, and Lapus Lapus Beach. Walk onto our sandbars, feel the powder like sand, and dive into our waters, which in our by diversity, adventure is waiting for you. From our beaches, look ahead, you see the amazing mountains, greens that are cool to the eyes, the fish sanctuaries that is even to hundreds of species, endemic to its base, and the reason why fishermen always have an amazing lunch for their own table and for the marketplace. I am Maria Fetahara, proud to represent the marble capital of the Philippines, Romblon. What does it take to be a phenomenal learner? Is it the way she carries herself? Does it depend on her impressive credentials? Or is it about her selfless, persevered, and brave heart? The four values instilled to me by Makati is what makes me a phenomenal woman from a phenomenal treasure my roots and appreciate the community I live in. To be proud of the barangay that my family and I call home.
a free day and I'm back home, I decided that today I'm going on a date with myself. And I'm taking you with me around Angola City, Pampanga. Tara, sama ka. Kailangan natin magpaalam sa parents. Hello, universe! Atuta Mofu Kenny, Holy Rosary Parish Church, one of the oldest churches in Angola City that's about 142 years old. It was built by the local brothers and where the heart is, and there's no place like home, there's no place like Angeles City. This has been your Miss Universe Philippines, Angeles City, Dakalpong Salamat.